what's up? I watched this really weird piece of student performance art and it really makes me want to just make up a performance art piece wherein I do the most ridiculous, menial, but disgusting things and then people will like search for meaning in it and be like, whoa. And they'll think I'm a genius even though all I did was I don't know, like what if I scrubbed a stain out of a piece of carpet and afterwards I just puke on the carpet making a worse stain and I puke up like blood and ink or something, I don't know. I know some people would enjoy that. I would not enjoy being in that audience. <sighs> I'd just be so confused, like, okay obviously, or maybe there is no meaning. Maybe that's what they're trying to say, but that too is meaning and then it just gets all flipped on itself and I'm like, this is so stupid. Obviously things have meaning. Gah! You cannot- I just can't get on board with that. Ugh. So maybe performance art isn't for me. Actually, probably, definitely not. I was doing this thing where I was trying to drink 100 ounces of water a day because health benefits. And then day five of trying to drink 100 ounces of water, I spill water on my laptop and I ruined my entire life. <laughs> I am a mess. I got tiramisu the other day and yes, I was trying to take a picture of my food with, with my phone in, in the square photo mode. And yes, I dropped my phone on my dessert ruining the picturesque layer of mascarpone cheese dusted lightly with cocoa powder. But, <laughs> to the surprise of everyone in the room who did not know that I've pretty much all but gotten over my germophobia, I licked the, uh, the, ch the cheese off of my phone. A little bit, and uh, I am incredibly aware of how dirty phones are. That's how much I love tiramisu. Top three favorite desserts. Tiramisu, obviously. Baklava, raised donuts with filling. And icing. Last night, Sam and I got donuts. So we come back with the box. He takes the box, he like gets down on one knee, and he opens the box and is like, Alexis, will you eat donuts with me? I took a picture of him doing it, too. I told him I wouldn't post it on Facebook, but I said nothing about YouTube, so... <laughs> uh. They're all gone. I can still smell them. The delicious, sugary confections. I feel like what I'm about to say is extremely relatable, but are you ever just trapped in between wanting to be an extremely responsible, self-sufficient adult and then just not wanting to do anything ever. I just want to be an eccentric shut-in left to my hobbies like Penelope on the Brothers Bloom and not learn how to order checks. I'd rather be a shut-in. I'd rather learn Icelandic and read folk tales and learn how people contour and highlight their faces so they look so beautiful. I'd rather learn about that than how to correspond with a health insurance company and a protein powder maker because I consumed a type of protein powder. And it wasn't until after I consumed it, went to a friend's house, got up in the night, and fainted, fell down a flight of wooden stairs, got a concussion, and puked everywhere, and managed to accrue $12,000 in emergency room costs. Also, I puked everywhere there. I don't think they've ever seen someone puke so much. But it wasn't until after the whole event expired that, um, this protein powder company, we called their protein powder because there was a deadly form of bacteria in it. And then I'm like, well, yeah, that makes sense because I had a terrible time after using that just one time ever. Ugh. Rather than dealing with that, I would much prefer to learn how to ride and fix motorcycles and grow peach trees and proficiently play piano and cello. There's a summer internship that I want to apply to. I'm really afraid to apply to it because my skills are so generalized and not specialized because, really, the only skills I have 
are being able to put on lipstick while operating a vehicle, having an extremely high pain tolerance, and catching snowflakes on my tongue. I'm great at that. I'm the real MVP. That wouldn't look good on a resume. Everyone around me is just so amazingly talented that I feel crippling self-doubt about any of my talents, which is fine. I'd rather be surrounded by people who are super talented and super enthused about what they're doing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's tough. Emerging adulthood is difficult. I should apply for that internship. I need to figure out what to do about my laptop because I need it to make my senior projects, which, oh, by the way, if, you've st if you're still sticking around, I should probably tell you about this because if you stuck around this long, then you probably kind of, for some reason, like my videos. I'm going to be making a video series for my senior project. Um, it's not coming out anytime soon. Uh, probably like this summer. It's just, it's a vlogging thing. Anyway, that is a thing. And also, because of this class, I had to like create promotional things for it. So to appease this, I made a uh, Facebook page, which is like a thing I never thought I would do, but I made one. And so, you know, if you're, if you're, if, if you're feeling generous, you, you could go like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. That, that would make me super jazzed if you cared to do that. Alright, um, I have to go learn how to be an adult now, obviously, which, I don't, I'm probably just gonna go make buttered noodles, actually, is what I'm probably gonna do. And carbo load until I feel less stressed. Bye!